And then we've got the official training camp schedule here. 2024 training camp schedule. So if you're planning on heading up to Lambeau Field to catch a uh, catch a practice, here is your practice schedule. So um, it starts July 22nd. So we have less than a month, less than a month of time to fill, um, to talk about nonsense, to argue about nonsense. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm always down to argue about nonsense. But um, less than a month until we see some some... I say actual football, but you know what I mean. Who's calling me right now? I don't know that number. Um, so we got usually these three-day stretches here. So 22nd, 3rd, and 4th, 26th, 7, 8th, 30th, 31, and then August 1st. So those are your three days, one day break, three days, one day break, three days, one day break. And then family night, Saturday the 3rd. If you have not been to family night, I would encourage you to go check it out. Um, I'm hopeful to get to get back there sometime for family night. It was a cool experience, but my youngest was, or not my youngest, my youngest at the time, my second youngest now, um, she was an absolute terror, and uh, it was brutal. It was awful. <laughs> just, she, she was a disaster. It's very late, so if you have a, a kid that's a, a problem child, at, you know, in the let's talk about terrible twos. It's not terrible twos, dude. I thought maybe it was just one of my kids. It's all of my kids. I have four kids. I can confirm. Twos are fine. Threes are a problem. Maybe it's something that's evolved with time, with kids not developing or, or breaking down as, as quickly as they used to. I have no idea. But um, we don't have terrible twos. We have three nagers is what we have around here. And my, my youngest is now three, so she's kind of having some issues. But at least I know by four she'll be fine. But if you have a three-year-old, maybe wait a year. I'm just saying, but it is a good time. And then um, you got that. That's when the the practices start to slow down a little bit. They get some extra breaks because we got preseason games actually mixed in, and, and some of this stuff it's not necessarily breaks. It's kind of behind the uh, behind the curtain and whatnot. But you got two days, and then on Saturday you've got the Browns. That's an away game. Then the next week you have two days, uh, and then you have on Sunday the away game against the Broncos. And you got break, practice, break, joint practice with the Baltimore Ravens. And then uh, the 24th is going to be at home against the Baltimore Ravens. Remember, they kind of alternate between whether you get multiple home games uh, during the season or during um, uh, the preseason. And so the Packers get two home games during the season, so they're going to have two away games. This, In this case, it's going to be the first two against the Browns and the Broncos. 